This is Fantasy Football Today from CBSSports.com. Let's tell you what to do with Andrew Luck, Stephen Ridley, Ben Tate, and plenty more as we welcome you to an exclusive presentation of Fantasy Football Today here on CBSSports.com for CBS Sports Local. I'm Adam Azer, that's Jamie Eisenberg and Dave Richard telling you to start and sit here in Fantasy Week 11. We'll begin with the quarterbacks, fellas, and we've got Case Keenum as a start, Jamie, facing Oakland. Yeah, you know, you talk about a guy that's really stepped up and played well. You know, I think if you can get – still go out and get him, rush to your waiver wire and go get Case Keenum because he's been fantastic. You're talking about a guy, seven touchdowns in the three starts that he's made for the injured Matt Schaub. He's done the thing that we've expected Matt Schaub to do for the last two years, which is get Andre Johnson the ball in the red zone. Five touchdowns for Johnson in the last two weeks, and we saw Oakland. They were a little bit better last week against Eli Manning and the Giants. Giants missed on a couple touchdowns to Keem Nix and to Victor Cruz, but we know two weeks ago – Obviously, Nick Foles, seven touchdowns, so Keenum, I think, should stay hot this week. And Dave, Andrew Luck at Tennessee. Is a sit? He's a sit, and I know that that's a little jarring because Andrew Luck is considered a number one fantasy quarterback across the board, but he's playing outdoors on grass. That's always been a difficult challenge for him. He's only had one game in his career, nine opportunities, where he's had more than 20 fantasy points outdoors, and Tennessee has been great against opposing quarterbacks. They're having an outstanding year from their secondary. Their pass rush has been pretty good. And Luck, other than T.Y. Hilton, just doesn't have anybody stepping up for him. So I think that this is going to be a tough game for Andrew Luck on the short week. I'd find somebody else like Case Keenum to start. Now, Jamie, you didn't love Ben Tate last week as we transitioned to running backs here, but you do like him this week. Start him. I do. Last week's matchup was very tough against Arizona. You knew he was going to struggle against that Cardinals defense on the road, but he comes back this week. I think he's going to have a lot of success rushing the ball against this Raiders defense. We've seen the Raiders obviously struggle with their run defense of late. Certainly Andre Brown proved that last week when he had over 100 yards and a touchdown. And the thing about Ben Tate is we know Aaron Foster out for the season. He's had five games in his career where he's had 20 or more touches. In those five games, he's had at least eight fantasy points. So last week, only 18 touches, 15 carries, three catches. I think he gets over the 20-touch mark this week, and I think he gets you eight-plus points with the chance to get double digits. And, Dave, Stephen Ridley, Monday night game at Carolina. First of all, hopefully this will be a great game. I can't wait for it. Same but here. Carolina's defense is good, and you're Real saying good. sit Stephen Ridley? Real good because the Carolina defense is so good. They've only allowed two rushing touchdowns to running backs over the course of the season. Did a nice job against Frank Gore. And I could see Tom Brady throwing the ball a lot in this game. Shane Vereen possibly could be back for New England. And let's say that he is. If Vereen plays, that's going to take Stephen Ridley off the field for a portion of the game, probably just about as much as he would normally if Brandon Bolden was playing. But I still think it's going to be hard for Ridley to score. I don't see him getting a ton of yardage in the game. Carolina doesn't give up a ton of yardage either. So I would try and get away from Stephen Ridley if I could. The Packers are at the Giants, and Jarrett Boykin is coming off a, a good performance last week, Dave, so he is a start wide receiver this week. Yeah, I'm buying in on Jarrett Boykin. I have for a while. I, I didn't write when he came back in, but I've learned my lesson from it. 30 targets in his last four games, so you know that he's going to continue to play, continue to get passes thrown to him. And, yes, the Packers are down to their third quarterback. It's Scott Tolzien. He's not somebody that's going to light the world on fire, but he's not bad either. He's a good West Coast quarterback. He's good for what the Packers are asking him to do. And throwing short passes to Jarrett Boykin, I think he's a stud in PPR leagues. I think he's good to go within a standard league, too. With at least eight fantasy points in three of his last four, you should continue to start him. Atlanta at Tampa Bay, and Roddy White gets another tough matchup with Darrell Rivas on the other side of the field. Uh, looking right at his face, but not like the other side of the field, east-west. <laughs> but um, can we – I know we're going to sit Roddy White. Can we drop him at this point? I don't know if I'm ready to drop him just yet. It depends what's out there, you know, that can help you. Like, I wouldn't go for this week's hot waiver wide receiver and Rashad Matthews. You know, I think you still yes. want to have Roddy White in that scenario. But you mentioned he's going to face Darrell Rivas, and Rivas the last three weeks has shut down Steve Smith, Golden Tate, and Mike Wallace. And we're back to seeing the Darrell Rivas that we knew when he was with the Jets and obviously taking away a lot of top targets. There is a very strong scenario that we could see uh, Darrell Rivas match up against Harry Douglas because Douglas has emerged as the go-to guy for Matt Ryan with Roddy White being, you know, a sideline with the ankle and hamstring problems and obviously Julio Jones being out for the season. But I think you're going to see him line up against White because White was back to being, you know, a, a very – high-volume target guy for Matt Ryan last week, and that's the premier receiver still. So uh, a little bit tough to trust Roddy White right now. We'll give you tight ends now. One to start, one to sit. Dave says start Greg Olson this week against New England. Yeah, and the Patriots secondary not exactly uh, filled with, with great top shelf talent right now. Steve Gregory, one of their safeties, not expected to play. Akib Tlaib probably will play, but probably won't be assigned Greg Olson, which means some more targets could actually go in Olson's favor. He has a touchdown two of his last three. Didn't do anything against San Francisco last week. I think he can bounce back in this game home against New England. Might be the best option for Cam Newton in this game to score a touchdown. You see those eight fantasy points as a projection. That's good. 
for one of those that's fringy better, tight ends. Yes, that's better than the average of a top 12 tight end. Right. Now, Heath Miller, we expect to be under the average of a top 12 tight end. We're saying sit him against the Lions. Yeah, he's really been struggling of late, you know, and you've seen the way that Ben Roethlisberger has sort of spread the ball around with Emmanuel Sanders. Obviously, Jericho Cotri has become his red zone target, Le'Veon Bell out of the backfield. And Miller's targets and his production have just dropped. Last week, no fantasy points. And so you're seeing a guy right now that is not being involved to the same level he was when he first returned from that ACL injury. So I think you're looking at a scenario where the Detroit Lions, they've been fairly well. They've They've done a fairly good job against tight ends for the most part of the season, and I think based on the way Miller's played, based on the way the Lions have played defense, and the way that Roethlisberger is looking in other directions, I'd sit Miller this week. You can watch us live Tuesday through Friday, noon Eastern on CBSSports.com. Also, our Sunday morning show, 11 a.m. Eastern with Dave, Jamie, Chad Johnson, and Jason Horowitz to help you set your lineup right before the games begin on Sunday. This has been an exclusive presentation of Fantasy Football Today for CBS Local Sports. I'm Adam Azer, and good luck in Week 11.